Bonds are back, baby. Sort of. Kind of. Interest rates are higher, uh, and so now it's become a little bit more interesting to talk about bonds than when they were just real slow and, and steady. Now, that's uh, wreaked havoc on the bond market and on a lot of portfolios. Uh, today, we're going to talk about another bond strategy. We're going to talk about a bond barbell, how that differs from a bond ladder. Sit tight. Hi, I'm Antonio Sabella with Vision Wealth Management. We're talking bond investment strategies again today. I've got another video out there about bond ladders, so I don't want to take up too much time talking about this. I'll put a link out to it. If you have questions about what a bond ladder is and you want more specifics, go see that. Today we're talking about bond barbells. I'll compare it to a bond ladder, uh, but we're going to talk about exactly what a barbell is and, and why it may be beneficial. So uh, when you're investing in individual bonds, you're loaning money to companies, municipalities, governments for a specific period of time for a specific interest rate. So we're talking individual bond investments here. We're not talking bond mutual funds or, or other sorts of pooled investments. We're talking individual bonds. When you do that, how do you choose what terms to, to invest, what, uh, how long to lend the money out, and what interest rates you're gonna get, and how does that play into the rest of your portfolio. A bond ladder, which we've talked about before, is I'm gonna go over a specific period of time, three years, five years, 10 years. I'm gonna divide up my bond money over all of those years in equal increments, and if I'm doing a 10-year bond ladder in one-year increments, I'm gonna buy a one-year bond, a two-year bond, a three-year bond, all the way out to a 10-year bond, spread the money equally, and I've always got something coming due, and when it comes due, I go buy a new 10-year bond and everybody takes one step forward. Uh, that can be advantageous in a flat interest rate market or in a somewhat rising interest rate market where you always wanna have money coming due that you can then invest for a longer period of time to get a higher return, because as we know, generally speaking, the longer the term, the longer you're gonna let somebody use your money, the more they have to pay you for it, the higher the interest rate. A bond barbell, is exactly what it sounds like. Think again in terms of bonds and think about a barbell. Real skinny in the middle, weights on either end, right? Barbell. So you're gonna heavily weight. We're buying short-term bonds, things that are gonna mature very soon. We're buying long-term bonds, things that are gonna be a longer period of time. We're not gonna have as much in the middle or anything in the middle necessarily, depending on how you would structure the barbell. So different than the latter, where you've got equal increments over a specific period of time, you might say, I'm gonna do a 10 year barbell, I'm gonna buy a group of bonds that are all gonna mature in the next year or so, and I'm gonna buy a group of bonds that are gonna mature around 10 years from now. That can be advantageous in an interest rate market that has risen, where you want to capture the longer term, higher interest rates, that you believe rates will not continue to keep rising. Uh, at the end of the day, if rates continue to rise, you've locked up that money for a period of time uh, and, and you're going to wish that you hadn't, uh, maybe, because you would be able to invest it at new higher rates. That being said, if interest rates have come up and you feel that they're going to level off, the barbell can be beneficial because you do have some liquidity with the short-term stuff that's going to come due, even though it's not earning as much interest, but you've got some higher returns from the longer-term stuff. It also can be beneficial if you're using the bond portfolio for income. So if you're drawing that interest as it's being paid because you're retired and you're using that to supplement your income and you like the rates that are being paid around that uh, end of the barbell, whether you did a five year or 10 year, whatever the case may be, uh, that income is locked in. As long as those places remain credit worthy, as long as they don't default, they've got to pay you the interest along the way and you can use that interest to supplement your income. And you've got a longer period of time before you have to worry about your income going down because the bonds matured and maybe interest rates were lower. Uh, that's the general on it. Uh, look uh, for more details in some of the other videos we have about bonds. If you have questions specifically, feel free to drop me a line. I'm happy to explain this stuff in a little bit more detail. I do thank you for being here. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you soon.